The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look here at Platinum this morning, folks, because we're uh, coming down, testing that 1448 again. In the, uh, hold on one second, there seems to be an echo. I know what the echo is about, so I have to change the echo. So let's get this off. By the way, folks, we're going to send some white light out today to one of our really dear friends. Uh, Mr. Angelo is uh, under the weather a bit. We want him to get back in the the swing of things, so hang in there, Bubba. We want you to be back as soon as possible. I know he's listening over there on the ocean side of uh, San Diego, so uh, we hope to uh, see you soon and hope you're feeling better. Uh, one other thing, folks, is that we might have a new guest. Uh, uh, oh, dear Rich Anderson in, in introduced me to someone, uh, uh, a really big hitter. I haven't. I'm not going to say who it is until we uh, till we get it set up. But uh, he's been. Uh, he's very. Well, he's semi-famous, but uh, he's got some really great research because Rich swears by it. So hopefully we're going to have him on uh, later later this week. But remember, tomorrow we have a special guest. All of our guests are special, but he's a very special friend, one of my dearest friends. You know, you always have someone that has your back. Well, Dr. Steve Shapiro has always been there. I met him back in 85, and we've been tighter than peanut butter in a tight jar for about, uh, how long has it been? 34 years. He's just as nice nice as can be, and I was very close to his mother and stuff. We'll go over some of those uh, things tomorrow, walking down memory lane. He was with, with me from the very beginning, before Bryce Gilmore, uh, before my first student even, <laughs> and uh, and uh, and he was up at the house at, uh, you know, Pismo Beach. Uh, his him He and his mother lived down on the beach, and we lived up on the hill, up on the side of the hill there in uh, uh, Pismo Beach, which was up about, oh, about 900 feet overlooking all of the Pacific coast and it was great the guys would go down to her to mumsy's house uh, mumsy title bombs uh, his his mom and she would make a huge breakfast for us hey we will go over some of that stuff tomorrow um uh, will uh, there's been you know the chinese markets and some of those other markets got hit pretty bad because of what's going on in hong kong folks if you see a video out there where it says uh a uh, Hong Kong man has been, you know, gassed with a gas bomb. Don't don't watch that video, folks. That is one of the most disturbing videos I've ever seen in my whole life. Uh, it caught me totally by surprise when I saw it, and it was just so troubling to see see that and the damage that these young kids are doing over there, folks. These are not. Well, these folks are terrorists. Anytime you try to kill a policeman, you're no longer a protester. Now, I hope you realize that. All right, let's get back here to what really counts. Here we are back in this gold. We're coming down to test it again. We want to take a look at this because this is really important, folks. Well, you know, what am I what am I saying? Here, here we go. Look at this. This is gold. It's basically the same as the gold. That's equivalent to 1448. You'll notice that the 48 days that we had in the down move that stopped at the 382 back in uh, late April of uh, last year, or this year, okay, uh, stopped right on the money. Now, you'll notice that even after it stopped, it had one nice pullback, almost at a double bottom. Now, here we are. We're up at the same thing. We are down 48 days, you know, and here we have the full moon today. We have the full moon, and, of course, we had that transit of Mercury, but, frankly, I don't know what that means. It meant something to Einstein, but I couldn't find anything technically to say that that transit of Mercury, you know, saw major turns. I went back, Norm gave me the dates, and I went back and looked at the the five times that it's happened in the last Wow, 70 years or something, and gee, not very much for timing. It might, might have been a month or two off, but you can't trade for a month or two off, that's for sure. 
So let's watch that very closely. Silver hasn't quite made our objective yet, but it's very, very close. And but watch that. The one that is the two things that are happening, folks, we have this full moon and we've got those bonds really trying to hang on uh, to dear life. We, we talked about this before. We've posted the charts on it. I guess I should do it one more time just to give you a rough idea of uh, what I think is going to unfold. And believe me, this is what we call a rough idea. But uh, let's get let's just do the weekly here just to show you where we are in the bonds. You'll be able to see it quite clearly here. There is the weekly chart. Uh, we had the open interest. By the way, open interest was dropping yesterday in all of the stock indices with the update. So I don't know if that means anything. But you'll notice uh, as you're looking at this ABCD pattern in the Treasury notes, we are there, folks. So if it's any good, we should not take those lows out. That would be equivalent to 155.30, I believe, was the low in the Treasury bonds. We're trading about 20 ticks higher than that. So if it's good, it shouldn't it shouldn't quite take that out. So we'll we'll have to wait and see. Another one, and we have probably have Ruby in here listening, is that uh, the let's just get this up here so we can take a look at it. Th these are some of the futures that we're watching here, because I think they're they're getting really really close. We're only about a point and a half away of. Uh, uh, yes, that is a very bearish bond chart. It, it certainly is. And uh, it's due for a bounce, but it's a very bearish bond chart. Long term, it's extremely bearish. But take a look at the piggies, folks. Uh, uh, we, we got an ABCD structure there coming down at about uh, one six, about 61 and a quarter, and so just about uh, buck 75 from where we are right now. And we're trading at 63, I believe. So uh, it has to hold 60. Well doesn't have to, but if it's going to be bullish, it better hold 61 because that's a 78% level. And that's also going to be very, very important. There's going to be a little 1.27 expansion there. So I would watch it uh, very closely. That's going to be the last uh, hurrah for the uh, for the hogs. Now, cattle have still been going to, uh, okay, Ruby saying, I expect platinum to hit 840. I don't know if it's going to hit 840 or not, but that's the target I just posted there, Ruby. Uh, you know, it should be up to, folks, you know, one of the markets that has really gotten hammered, and we don't we don't really uh, we don't really look at this market very much, and that is the uh, is the palladium market, and uh, it's had a <laughs> it's had a slight correction of a hundred and what 160 bucks in just a matter of a uh, a few days here. And that has been a precursor of the market sometimes. But, you know, our market can never go down. Someone's asked a question about those things I posted about the uh, impeachment charts that came from the socioeconomics department of uh, the Elliott Wave. I'm going to run through these because I, I think they're pretty interesting because, uh, you know, the money, the, the, the world runs on money. So let's just run through these. and It'll just take a, uh, well, that zero, that zero interest rate, that, that puppies, uh, they're going to be forgetting about that much like they've, uh, uh, like they forget about everything else. They move on to something else. So this is the one from uh, Andrew Johnson. And I'll post them in the room one at a time so that you guys can take a look at them. And when we get back from the break, we will uh, talk about the uh, the grain markets because uh, I think we're coming down to an area that looks pretty interesting. And then we have the El Presidente is supposed to be speaking about China deal today, which uh, I think people are getting a little tired of that, too. But uh, we'll wait and see. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, Rick Chanderson forwarded on this chart to me last night from Alpha Insights. It's one of the big uh, algo trader people, and uh, they uh, they do some great research. And you notice this is the Elliott Wave uh, counts that they're looking at here. On the first scenario, they're saying that's a 30% uh, probability that we're going to reach 3170, and the other one says a 70% probability is that we're going to go down into a Wave 4 and then proceed to go up into a wave five. It is my theory that that, uh, if you'll notice that three drive to a top pattern and the chart on the right, I think that I think that's really important, folks. Uh, of course, uh, those of you that get my newsletter, you've certainly seen enough of those charts uh, to see the different patterns in all of them. The only one that's uh, really of any sequence, uh, uh, of any uh, matter uh, that means anything, of course, is that Russell it has not made a new high, nor has the New York Stock Exchange Index. Both of those have not been able to do it. That doesn't mean they're not going to. It just it means they haven't done it yet. And with El Presidente speaking today, uh, who knows? It could even be uh, could be something you know uh, spectacular, like we saw a week or so ago when we gapped up in the S and P. The other thing that I wanted to mention, folks. Uh, there are people that, you know, use my patterns a little differently, and they use them quite successfully. And one of the things that they do is that they trade uh, failed Gartley patterns. In other words, when a Gartley pattern, pattern goes up to a 78% level and starts to fail, they buy that, and they know that that failed Gartley will become, with a high probability, will become a 1.27 or 1.618 expansion at that time. And if it, if it does, then that really 
really gives you a really good, uh, really good uh, profit potential with a very, very low risk. This is one of the things that Mark Douglas tried to work with me uh, quite a bit. And I posted into the room uh, yesterday a seven-hour video of uh, my good friend, Mark, uh, which goes back about 20 years. Uh, but if you're, it was posted yesterday, and uh, if you have any trouble, you can't find it, just uh, drop me an email, and I'll forward the link on to you. And yet I don't recommend you take seven hours and watch it. I recommend you take it in tiny bits and pieces with a notepad because there's so much information there that it, uh, it's really uh, – you really want to pay close attention to it. Just to give you an example of this failed Gartley pattern, here's a great chart from David White. And uh, he and Tom do their uh, charting uh, the market, timing the market. You'll notice here is the, the failed Gartley that I'm talking about. Uh, that would be at point two. And once that failed Gartley happens, it goes all the way up. And of course, it makes a, a 1.27 expansion there. So it's at point two where the pattern has failed and the you know you would be buyer of that breakout. And if you stop and think of it, you, you've got a lot of things going for you there. A, you're certainly trading with the trend. B, you certainly have a great target to look at. And C, you can protect yourself you know, with a relatively close stop. So uh, that's why the patterns probably do. I've never tested them, but you know they certainly they certainly look pretty good. So that's uh, one of the main things that we're keeping an eye on here as we look at these here this morning. Okay, uh, the next one we wanted to talk about was I wanted to reiterate what's been happening in the Chinese market because it's been. Hold on, we've got a little caller maybe coming in. Let's see. Uh, yes, the uh, uh, Mr. Z saying the the British pound is bouncing off. For these FIB month. Yes, it, it had a perfect 61% retracement last night, Mr. Z. I saw that, and uh, it's bouncing again, too. So we'll see. The, these FIB numbers work, folks. They don't work all the time, but by golly, of all the stuff I've looked at over the years, that's by far the best of the things that uh, I've seen uh, happening. Now, the euro is not bouncing very much. It's up a few pips from the bottom that we made early this morning, but the, the none of those currencies look very good, folks. It looks like yeah, the never-ending Brexit. That's like the never-ending uh, stuff that we hear on the news all the time. So who knows? Let's move on to uh, talk a little bit about some of these currencies. Remember that dollar index held exact. Oh, I got to do this Shanghai. This is more important than the dollar index, I think. Here is the the Shanghai index versus the uh, Dow, the S and P 500. You can see the one, two, three drive to a top. You can see the expanding triangle. You can see the butterfly pattern. Everything's there. Then. S&P 500, and we've been going flat with lower tops uh, here in the Shanghai market. And with the, the, and you can imagine that the with one of the worst days they had for uh, terror yesterday in Hong Kong, the actual market was up up about 70 points. I had been down uh, five or six hundred the night before. But uh, you know, the, the, it was really it's it's just really getting bad over there, folks. I it really brings a lot of sadness to me because I I can't believe that uh, what we're seeing there is actually true. Let's move back to the bond market because I wanted to uh, bring this up again because I think this is where we are in the bond market. Let me get the first one up. And then we will try to explain it a little better to our listeners here. This is the uh, the interest rate itself, and as you can see here, we we're, we're starting to rise in interest rates uh, since uh, the late August. That's when we made our top in the Treasury notes. But if we look at this and do one simple thing, and that is to add the patterns to it, you're going to be able to see if what we're doing here is that we are seeing a market that is making an ABCD pattern. Now, if this is correct, and this is the first major one we've had here in a long time, what this means is that the interest rates should stop going up right now and should start to go down for a few days. The problem arises is the fact that that bond market is so bearish that uh, I don't know how much of a rally we're going to get. It'll probably be much bigger than I expect, but uh, 
We'll have to wait and see. That's the main thing that I'm watching. Uh, could someone update me on the hog market? I don't know where the hogs are right now, but uh, uh, I'm really thinking they might get down to 61.40 today, and that's a very, very low risk at that point. You only have to risk a few hundred dollars in the hogs if they get there. And also, the uh, the uh, coffee has been expanding up in here, folks. So that's uh, been one heck of a move. We want to thank Ruby and Mr. Z on that one, as always. And of course, uh, the natural gas. Let's get this up here. I want to bring it up so we can take a quick look at it here. Very interesting that we hit the uh, yesterday in the natural gas. Let's just get this up here. You notice the big A, B, C, D pattern up there at uh, 290. Uh, that was last uh, uh, Monday. And if you'll notice uh, that we've been down and we had that big gap down, we left that huge island reversal there. Uh, today we got as high as uh, two. Uh, yes, we got as high as 271, I believe, something like that. We're trading around 265 right now. But that low we made yesterday at 262, folks, was a 382 retracement. So if it can uh, stay above that, then it's going to be pretty close. Yes, we're getting close in that December. We need it down another another point and a half, Ruby, and I think we'll be very very close uh, to that. And boy, the weather is extremely cold, folks. I've uh, I've uh, heard from people all over the country, you know, how cold it was. As a matter of fact, I, I don't know if I saved that one from Rich Anderson this morning or not. No, I didn't. But he, he sent me he sent me the thing from the uh, uh, from the weather. From it was 15 degrees below zero in Eden Prairie, Minnesota, folks. <laughs> 15 degrees. The reason why I uh, came to California is when I graduated from Indiana. It was the first time we had a digital clock at the state bank, and when I I looked up when I was going to my finals, it was minus 20 in January. And I said, that's it. I'm out of here. And I uh, I went back to visit a lot. Well, I actually lived in uh, Indianapolis for uh, 18 months when I was doing work with Lily before I came back to California for the final run. So we'll see that. We got a break coming up here pretty soon, I think. Uh. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I wanted to bring to your attention one chart that we've been talking about uh, yesterday, and we need to talk about it again today, and I know I did it. The $64,000 question is, where is it? Shut the front door and raise the rent. It was a soybean chart, and I did it for Mr. Z. There it is. See, I knew you had it in here, kid. That a boy. You can't keep the old charts down for long. Let's take a look here. Uh... uh all right, let's just move on here a second. There we go. Uh, here's where we closed last night in the March beans. That's what I'm watching. Uh, January will be coming up soon enough, but we're, no, we're trading at 931 uh, th th uh, this morning. Uh, we, go, we got a pattern down here, folks, at uh, 920. Uh, that's a very nice uh, retracement. You'll see it is a perfect A, B, C, D pattern. And if you want to defy human nature and do the work yourself, like Mr. Twentyman says, take the high that we made back on the 21st, that was up there at that 972, and count the number of days down that we made the low at 940, then we rallied up to a 51% retracement in three days, and now we're coming down. And if you count the number of days down, and if you count the number of days down, it brings you right into the full moon today. So keep it at today or tomorrow. So watch the number here at 920. Uh, if you're gonna be a buyer down there, then what you would be doing is you can become a soybean farmer for uh, quite a bit less than uh, it takes to be a farmer you can only risk about eight cents or around four hundred dollars and we'll be eight and see so the hogs gapped up today aha that's uh, very interesting i uh, will see uh, what happens sometimes they do give you gifts there's no question about that ruby they really do all righty now we need to talk a tiny bit and we had a question of course and that's about the old bitcoin we want to get it up here and uh, talk about it. We've already talked about the big uh, Gartley pattern that we made down there at 7,200. That was the big one on the long-term daily. We took out the lows from uh, June, excuse me, of July, and then uh, you know we re reversed. And now what we're doing is we're making a 61% retracement here. We're not quite there yet. It comes in about another 300 points lower uh, in the Bitcoin. So we'll take a look at that's certainly a lot cheaper than the 20,000 that we saw uh, in January of uh, two years ago. But that market was not, you know, that that wasn't a uh, a uh, what you call a tulip bulb type market because it's just gone to make normal corrections. You know, it's made those corrections in Bitcoin uh, four times, and it's all about blockchain technology, folks. It's really not about uh, it's not about the cryptocurrencies, from what uh, John Jameson tells me, and I certainly trust his uh, his feeling. Someone asked me to to, to pr bring the chart up of the uh, the S and P again. I'll bring it up here, and remember, we have a gap. Uh, in this S&P, 
Let's just move on here. You'll be able to see here, we have a gap there. Uh, you'll notice uh, that was last week. That's when the, the uh, they came out and said the China deal was all done. And then we've been hanging around here another two or three days. We haven't made a new high yet, but we're so close that, it, you know, if somebody uh, doesn't pick up the telephone, you could see a new high, you know, very, very easily. But that is a, uh, that's a perfect three drive pattern. You can see the cyclical highs between July, September, and where we are now. Now, uh, whether the full moon is going to mean anything like it did on September the uh, 13th. But if you notice on September the 13th, uh, the market actually went up and tried to make a new high on September uh, the 18th, and then it dropped uh, for two weeks. Uh, down to that 284 level. So uh, it might take a day or two to get this. So that's why, you know, W.D. Gann said the most difficult part of uh, doing technical analysis is timing. And believe me, there's no question about that. I used to do all kinds of cycle stuff. And really, I, I try to do just the patterns to tell me what the risk control is. And I do some timing and I do watch the lunar cycles and some of the big things like when Mercury is retrograde and other planets are doing things like that. And then you have a better, you know, better idea of where you are. But the patterns will, they'll keep you, keep you honest and bring you to the promised land, folks. That's, uh, you know, really what we're we're watching here as we're looking at some of these. By the way, if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. That's the main one. Okay, let's get back to the uh, currencies a little bit, folks, because I think that, uh, you know, we've had a pretty good top being made here uh, in the. Uh, Let's just get this. Uh, are you kidding me? Oh, no way. Just not a chance in heck. Do you mean to tell me that I didn't do the currencies? I know I did. Wow. Well, I did the dollar index. Where's the other ones? Shut the front door. Let's just do the dollar index because that'll be the one to tell us where we are. Okay, here's where we are. We'll get this up here. Okay, buy the dip at the opening, 3105 coming from your lips to God's ears. You're usually right, Maria. Uh, we're almost up here to that 9840 level, folks, in the dollar index. Uh, we're up about seven days in a row. Uh, really strong closes every day, and uh, we're very, very close. That means uh, we're going to be seeing a either move down in the pound and the euro, or this thing is going to just... Uh, Bada bing, bada boom, turn around and uh, go back down again. So we'll we'll watch it as we as we look at some of these things uh, unfolding. As we as we look at uh, some of these things going on. What are we at now? We're at uh, 3091 and rising. So we'll see. Another one, folks, that's really interesting in here is to keep an eye on the uh, uh, what do you call the darn thing? Uh, the crude oil. The crude oil has been at this level for, uh, you know, quite some time. And I think I've got to do something here. I've got to uh, change. I've got a little profit in something, and I want to make sure that I keep the profit. So uh, let's just move on here and just go in and uh, hold on. And there we go. I just don't want to make any mistakes. All righty. Okay. This is where we are. So we'll see what's going on here. Okay. Um, watch the watch this, folks, because, uh, you know, we, we've uh, we've been all over the well, there's been virtually no volatility in the stock indexes, folks, you know, to put it mildly, there really hasn't, you know, we've been in a range from what 3098 uh, down to what 3072 25 handles, you know, that's that's no range at all. So uh, that's one of the things that you might want to remember as you're looking some of these things unfolding. Now, the crude oil is interesting because uh, we've just made a 78% uh, retracement with an ABCD pattern up here at 57.40. We're down about 20 cents from that level, but uh, it's, it's still quite interesting to see you know, what's going on uh, with these things here. So that's it. And, you know, last night we got as high as 30.94, and we came down 10 points right to the 61% retracement in the S&P, and now we're back up six. So we're just bouncing around. We'll probably hit 31.05, Maria. It's, it's got it written all over the top of its forehead, so it certainly should make it. 877-927-6648.
If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, uh, bring up the chart of the euro. As you can see, uh, back on uh, October the 20th, uh, we made a 78% retracement of the August high, also 50% retracement of the high we made in June. Uh, we're in a downtrend, folks, lower tops, lower bottoms, as you can see here. Uh, we haven't quite made it down to the 61% retracement there at uh, 109.90, but we're very close. Uh, that's going to be really important support, folks. We're not very far away from it right now, only about 20 pips, so we need to watch it uh, very, very closely because it has a chance. Because if it fails here, uh, you're going to be looking at a giant ABCD. And those of you that have been listening to us here at TFNN for a long time and know that our outstanding target in the euro is about 103 to par. And, uh, you know, folks, <laughs> that euro's had some wild swings over the past past 25 years. So we've gone from uh, what we've gone from 85, I believe, up to 165, back to 85, back to 140. So it's, uh, you know, right. You're absolutely correct, Terry. Quiet markets are very dangerous because liquidity is the the real kicker there. The other, you know, the other one's really interesting, folks, is the fact that that VIX index has not really fallen out of bed here. Look how many times we've made new highs here recently, and yet the VIX is holding up. Someone's taking some protection. Whether that means anything or not, you know, I'm not really sure, but uh, they are still taking protection. So, uh, so sort of watch that would be what I would be you know, keeping a really close eye on. Okay, let's talk a little bit uh, about some psychology here. Uh, when I was listening to the, I listened to that video myself and uh, some of the things that uh, 
Tom, Mark always used to talk about was, you know, the use of stops, that if you don't use stops, you're basically telling the market that you know more than it does, and that means you're going to get a really bad penalty. Uh, Roy Longstreet said in his book, uh, 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 what was oh, darn, I can't remember the name of the book. I'll remember it in just a minute here. Uh, but uh, he said that uh, it's not, you know, the first mistake teaches you the second mistake kills you. So the first mistake is you've got to use a stop, and if you don't take advantage of it, that's the one that will hurt you. And then you're back in the old thing of sitting on your hands like Maria is saying, and you're hoping and praying. And boy, hoping and praying is really good on Sunday in church uh, or Saturday at the synagogue, but by golly, boys and girls, it's certainly not, uh, you know, not really uh, very good when you're trading. You always have to, you know, protect your capital because you don't know what's going to happen next. No one knows that. And you have to always have to prepare, you know, for something that is uh, totally, you know, unreliable. I know the Dow is a little weaker than the rest of the market today. That's probably due to one or two stock in the Dow because the, doc is, the Dow is price weighted. It's not cap weighted. So one of the expensive stocks in the Dow is most probably getting hit like we've seen in the uh, stocks like uh, IBM and also with uh, Boeing. So you can't really use that. The one that really counts, folks, is that New York Stock Exchange Index. That's the best of all of the things that we look at. And I think that, uh, you know, when you pay attention to that, that will really give you an idea that uh, that's what the, what the market is really doing. And I think it's uh, very, very important. Let's take a, that's impossible. Oh, dear. Let's take a look here at the IWM. Now, it's gone a, uh, uh, I think it's about at the same level. I don't believe it's made a new high yet. Let's just get it up here. Uh, I don't know if it's made a new high this week. I think it probably did. Could someone double check to see if that IWM, I can do that. Shut the front door and raise the rent here. Let's just get up here and look at this IWM and see if we made a new high on the week because it's the one that's been lagging behind it along with the uh, the one from the NASDAQ, so, uh, excuse me, New York Stock Exchange Index. Uh, no, we did not make a new high here in that for it's been, wow, that's actually down. It's lower uh, it's lower than the last uh, three or four highs. Boy, that's not a, even though the S&P's uh, smoking and joking, the other ones are not, uh, not, quite, uh, not quite doing that. So very interesting. <laughs> Well, we'll see. One, one at a time, they'll do it. Let's take a look at the New York Stock Exchange Index just to see how it's doing this morning. It ought to be making a new high. Nope, it hasn't made a new high yet either. Let's get it up here. And uh, we're still a little far away from it, but we're also making that same. Let's get this up here so we can see it. We're making that same pattern, but uh, as we say now, this is the... Uh, uh, this is the day of the full moon, and the, the, the full moon only has a three-day orb, a day before, the day of, the day after. So this, this market hasn't started to turn down uh, by uh, Thursday. It's going to go up forever, or, uh, well, or till maybe till Friday, whichever comes first. But uh, we'll sort of watch that. But the, the uh, IWM is uh, lagging sort of uh, badly, so whether that means anything on the longer term uh, of things. We don't know. We're back to the highs. Eh, we took out the highs we made of last night, didn't we? Yeah, nope. The high last night in the S&P was 94, and we've been to 93 and change, and we certainly will be watching that one as we uh, unfold here uh, early this morning. So those are the ones. You know, folks, you've asked me about those divergences. Uh, years ago, you know, uh, Richard Russell, he talked about those, and the market, I guess, was different then. I don't think, I know, I know the charts were not different. I can tell you that right now. The charts were not different, but maybe the, the information that we're getting now is so much and so frequent that it probably changes the volatility of the markets. But the patterns and the ratios have not changed. I, that will not change because that's human nature. You can go back and look at charts from the 1800s, 1700s, uh, 3,000 years, if you can find the data. I mean, these, all, these are all the same. I mean, all they do is A, B, C, D, expansion, contraction, lower highs, lower bottoms. That's really all it's doing. Doing. That's what Dr. Andrew Lowe did in his book, you know, the non-random walk down Wall Street. The market is chaotic, but within that chaos are non-random patterns that repeat over and over again, and they repeat with such, uh, you know, availability that uh, you don't have to uh, uh, realize that, 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 that something's going to go crazy on you because they are repeatable and they're tradable.
and also they have a predictability with them. And that's the real beauty of uh, the chaotic market. So let's uh, follow that as we follow through some of these charts here this morning. My goodness, only one other minute to go here. And then we're going to see what's going on here. Uh, I've got something to very, very close in here. We want to be real close. Let's just be okay, boys and girls. We're in the old ball game here. All right, uh, let's move on here. One other thing I wanted to do, I think that's about all the thing I wanted to cover this morning. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. And as I mentioned, we will be looking at uh, or talking to Dr. Steve Shapiro tomorrow. That will be a pleasant. I mean, I, I love talking to him anyway, but it'll be extremely pleasant because of the fact that uh, a lot of things, some memory lane that I think you'll enjoy, uh, some of the things that we used to do and chat about and stuff. It's uh, it's always a lot of fun. So we're going to think we've got a uh, thing to pay off here. Oh, by the way, if you want... Uh if you want Tom Tugard's book, uh, I would really suggest it's www.tradertom.com. It's going to be published, but you can get it in PDF file now. And it's 181 pages, really great stuff. He's a super trader, folks. If you don't pay attention, or if you don't want it, if you don't want to uh, listen to that, that's okay. You don't have to. But you know, anytime you got somebody that that's good, you you ought to you ought to sort of pay attention to it because uh, it's important. Eight seven seven nine two seven Six six four eight. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as the number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Basil Chapman has just announced a live 90-minute webinar he'll be conducting for subscribers to his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, which will be taking place Tuesday, November 19th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, titled A Comprehensive Review of the Chapman Wave Techniques and Market Outlook Ahead for 2020. This is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial to The Opening Call while gaining access to Basil's live subscriber event taking place later this month. With some stock picks up 15 to 30% this year alone, Basil will review many of the Chapman Wave techniques that helped in their successful analysis, as well as providing the sectors and stocks that he thinks will be of importance heading into 2020. For all the details, check out the opening call on the front page of TFNN.com.
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, let's move on here for a second here. And I want to bring up a chart to let you take a look at it because I think it uh, might be interesting today to watch this because this is the uh, – uh, hold on. I think I did that. Yeah, hold on just a second here. I want to make sure I get it up here. This is the uh, artificial intelligence program what we're watching here for the Dow Jones. We've, we've rallied about uh, 70 points here since uh, the open. And uh, But watch the time, folks, at 10.30. If it's making a high up there at 10.30, uh, watch it because uh, that means that there's a possibility that it could be down for three or four hours. I know that it's mathematically impossible to have that happen, but it is certainly uh, in historical terms uh, possible. So sort of keep a uh, close eye on that. It'll be very interesting to see, you know, what really happens. And, of course, it could go to the moon, too. You don't know. We did take out the overnight high in the S&P, so that'll be interesting. Uh, we still got the uh, the gold has not really turned yet, and I would be uh, be really uh, I'm very very bullish to gold if we can stay above this uh, 1448 level. We're trading at 1453 right now, but we could go down and take it out one more time. But I don't think we collapse from there. But if we do, boy, that's telling us something about the metals, folks. That means that those metals are in really big trouble because you have perfect symmetry. In that in that gold market, I mean, it just cannot be any better. You're right at a 382. You've got the number of days between highs and lows, and they're both 382s. My goodness, that's a that's a textbook stuff. So that's very very important to pay attention. So uh, we'll have Steve Shapiro as our guest tomorrow. Try not to miss that, folks. He's a super guy, and I'm sure you're going to have some fun. I know I'm going to have some fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So that's uh, that'll be a fun thing to do. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and make. God bless, and try to do something nice for someone who doesn't have as much as you. And that's just about anybody you meet on the street. Am I correct? We'll see you later, folks. May God bless.